A Singaporean man who has been charged with murdering his wife in the United Kingdom has pleaded not guilty. Fong Sung Hurt appeared via video link today to face the charge of in a British court. Now, Fong was arrested in Newcastle early last month after Peck Yingling, also a Singaporean, was found dead at a hotel. They were visiting the city. Fong has been in police custody since. For the latest, Laura Makin Ishwood joins us live now from Newcastle. Laura, what happened in court today? Well, this is the first stage of what now might become a fairly lengthy process for Fong Sung Hurt, the 50-year-old Singaporean national who is in police custody again tonight, remanded into custody after pleading not guilty to the charge brought against him of murder. He appeared via video link today, uh, dressed in a grey tracksuit, sitting quite still, quite uh, solemn, but responding to the questions put to him by the judge, uh, Paul Sloan QC, the recorder of Newcastle, very clearly and very firmly. He was asked by the judge to confirm his name. He then had that charge read to him, the charge of murder, and he was asked to enter his plea, and he responded not guilty. Laura, so he was remanded back in, into court. What's next for Fong then? Well, now this case will move to the trial process, the next sort of stage in this proceeding within the UK legal system. It's within the Crown uh, court system, the most serious of the uh, courts and where the most serious of cases are heard. The prosecution and the defence teams will now get together their evidence and their arguments. They will then be asked to present those to the judge and a jury made up of members of the public. They will then assess what they hear and decide whether uh, the defendant is guilty or not guilty. A date for that trial has been set, the 6th of June. So Fong has another six months uh, in custody here in the United Kingdom. And at the end of today's hearing, the judge said to him he must appear at that trial. Laura, thank you for that update. Laura, make an issue with their reporting from Newcastle.